Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be cutting up for the chuck along. So I will be cutting up this piece. Um, I actually recently unboxed this. It's called Sanctuary. It's a pretty small uh, chuck pinson in terms of a lot of the pieces that Diamond Art Club comes out with. And it's also a round drill and has color blocking, if you can believe it. So this is what we'll be cutting up. Um, we're actually, I'm trying to think of when I'm going to, it's going to be posted this week. I'm filming this on Sunday, March 6th, I think it is. Um, and I am over halfway through on my Mermaids and Magic kit, which I had actually filmed a kitting up of that, um, but I lost the footage. I had edited the vid video and I had it saved and everything, and then I went to play it and... It said it couldn't find the footage so who knows I don't know what happened technology as somebody who works in IT <laughs> I'm complaining about technology but it happens um, so yeah I am in my third row of that kit so I'm over halfway I'm hoping to be finished with it by this week so I want to have this kit um, all set and ready to go so yeah, I have a set of Elizabeth words here and I have another set over here so I can kind of change um, container sizes if I need to. This kit has 47 colors. Um, I'm hoping I can get away with a lot of the small packs, but we'll see what happens. Um, like the small containers, I mean, but we'll see. So. Get that out of the way. I also have a garbage can here, so if you see me reaching off to the side, that's why. I have some washi tape for my containers, a little pair of scissors, and a tray. And yeah, I think I think that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, get these arranged by size, so I know what containers I need to use. Um, So this is a chain of really small baggies, so I think I'm going to start with these ones. So we'll move those off to the side, and that way I can just start with these small containers right off the bat. I have my stickers. Okay, let's do this. So I was pretty bummed that I lost the footage for kidding up my Mermaids and Magic piece. I was really excited. I had a really, I had a really good time in that video. Um, and I feel like you can't recreate that, you know, like, sure, I can film another kidding up, but it's not going to be fun. Um, that is an old Distract by Diamonds kit. At least my, my copy of it is an old one. So I had to make labels <laughs> and I was just on one that day, I guess. I don't know. I was a mess. So it's probably a good thing that you guys won't ever see that, but also it was just a funny video, so... I'm kind of bummed that you won't, but, um, yeah, it was fun though. I, I enjoyed it. So obviously I'm not going to like talk about it because <laughs> you didn't get to see it, but it was funny. I was bummed. Uh, I feel like that's kind of a rite of passage though, when you're creating videos to just lose footage or mess something up and, I was pretty upset about it and yeah, it is what it is. 9.51. Um, but you know, I used my Xyron sticker maker and I'm sure most people know how to use that, but there are always new diamond painters. So, you know, that actually worked for me and I was able to get my stickers straight. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, crazy that we are into March now. It's beautiful here. If you are new to my channel, I live in New York State. Not New York City. I live in New York State and it's gorgeous here today. It's almost, I think it's almost 60 degrees, um, which for the beginning of March, like, I feel like we normally still have some snow. I mean, we have snow on the ground, but not, like, it's not actively snowing and so spring is definitely here, which I'm excited about. 
Um, I can already feel like I can tell that, what's this color, 3828. There it is. Um, I already feel like better in the afternoons. You know, like when I come home from work, it's still light out and it's not pitch black by 5.30. And so I can already, I already feel like I can feel it in my mood that it's, that it's nice out and all that fun stuff. Hopefully it sticks around. I feel like this time of year for us is very much like, oh, it's 60 today. And then tomorrow it's like 30. And then the day after that, it's 70. And then the day after that, it's 22. <laughs> so hopefully we're in for some nice weather for a few days at least. Um, it's Sunday when I'm filming this and we had... Our niece is over for a sleepover so I have an older sister and she has two daughters and we try to do sleepovers as often as we can obviously as they've gotten older and they have you know more activities and all that stuff it can be a little difficult to to figure out but it is fun to have them uh, my oldest niece is 12 and her younger sister is nine. Oh my gosh, she'll be 10 this year. Oy. Um, and it's just, it's so cool. Like I was saying to my sister when she picked them up, it's so different to have sleepovers with them now because obviously when they're small, like you need to have things to do with them and, you know, activities planned. And now they're just like, can we watch a movie? Or can we play on the Xbox? Um, so it was fun. I have gotten them both into diamond paintings, uh, into diamond painting. They have their own paintings that they leave here for when they come. Um, and my older niece actually diamond painted with me last night. It's funny because like a year ago, if they were coming for the weekend, there's no way I'd be able to get any diamond painting done, you know, because I'm like exhausted by the time they go to bed. But now I can sit and diamond paint and one of them will want to sit with me or watch a movie and so the older one diamond painted with me last night which was fun and uh the little one I say little one but like I said she's gonna be 10 this summer uh she didn't do any diamond painting this time she was playing animal crossing while we were diamond painting so and then what else did we do? Oh, we played Bananagrams. So let me know if you have ever played Bananagrams. It's one of my favorite games. It's just been a while since I've played it because I don't really have anybody that to play games with. Um, and it was kind of like a little too old of a game for my youngest niece, you know, pr previously. I feel like now is when she's you know, able to play it. So basically, if you've never played it, it's kind of like you have your own Scrabble board. Um, so there's like a bunch of tiles and you put the tiles in the middle and then everybody gets a certain number to start with and you make your own Scrabble board. So you have to make up your own words and um, forgot to put the label on. So that was a lot of fun. We played two rounds last night and then we played, what am I doing? Um, I think we played two or three rounds this morning and it was, it was fun. They're like, um, you know, you can't use, you can't use words with only two letters. So they're trying to finish their board and it was a lot of fun. Um, I love playing games. So, but yeah, if you are looking for, even if, I think it's even a good game for smaller kids. Um, you may just have to modify the rules a little bit. Um, it really helps them with spelling. I mean, she was pretty much limited to, not, I don't want to say limited to, but for the most part, she was doing, you know, like three and four letter words. And, um, but it's, it's still, I think it's a great game for, for kids to play. It really helps with spelling. Uh, so we did that. Uh, also, we made air fryer donuts this morning. 
which were amazing. <laughs> uh, I made those with my oldest niece. She likes to do that kind of stuff and they were really good. Um, sorry about that. I just heard my <laughs> boyfriend wandering around outside the door. Ah, I hate filming when people are here. It just, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we made air fryer donuts and they were amazing. Highly, highly recommend if you have an air fryer. So it's real. they're really easy. I'm just going to tell you how to make them. I'm sure you could also Google air fryer donuts, but you just need a can of biscuits. Don't get the flaky layers because Stephen and I have made them before. We've made them one other time and we had flaky biscuits. Um, what were they called? I guess like flaky layers where you can like pull the layer off of the, what's the name brand? Pillsbury biscuits. We made them from those one time and they were fine. It was just kind of harder to keep them together, obviously because of the layers. So you need a can of refrigerated biscuits. I just bought the Walmart brand ones this time. Um, some butter and some sugar and cinnamon. So I just used actual sugar and the spice cinnamon. I think you can buy cinnamon sugar, but I just mix the two myself. So you obviously take the rolls out. You melt the butter in a bowl. You put the biscuits on a plate or whatever and find something to like poke a hole so it looks like a donut. I guess you wouldn't have, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, and then you put the rolls in the butter and then you dunk them in the cinnamon sugar and then you put them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes. I think we put them on like 350 for 10 minutes and they were perfect. And we saved the middles and made little donut holes. Um, but yeah, they were delicious. So if you have an air fryer, highly recommend that you give those a try. Are they the healthiest? No. Would I have them every weekend? No. But there's something fun to make every now and then. And it was something easy to make with, with the girls. So definitely recommend. Uh, so I only have two more of these small, well, one more now of these small containers left. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually pull some of the small ones from this other set that I have off to the side. Um, I really, I need to buy another one of these Elizabeth Wards. I'm bummed that I didn't purchase one recently because Amazon had them on sale or like not necessarily on sale, but they had them marked down to $27.99. And I kept saying to myself, you need to grab one, you need to grab one. So this morning I was on Amazon to track a different order that I have and they're back up to like $32.99. Bummer. So I wish I had grabbed one or two, honestly, while they're on sale. I know I, I use other storage. Um, I share other storage on my channel, but they are definitely my favorite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like I only have six small ones left. In this. Oh, seven. Perfect. Okay. I do like to try and mix and match with other containers when I can because it just saves a lot of room in here so I can store other stuff. So lights, what I like to do. 141. Normally I cut off the canvas number because I don't use that at all. Um, but sometimes with the new labels that Diamond Art Club does, it's just annoying to have to worry about that, so. And I will go through and reorganize them by DMC. Something actually, I've been watching a lot of people do kidding up videos lately. I don't know why, I enjoy kidding up. Um, and sometimes when I'm at work, I'll just put any kind of video on in the background. Um, and recently it's been kidding up videos, so 
but there's there seems to be this like debate in the diamond painting community like do you kit up by color do you kit up by dmc do you kit up by symbol well how do you kit up <laughs> i kit up personally by dmc because it's easier for me when i de-kit um normally i de-kit at the end of the month so when I finish my current project, which, like I said before, is um, salt water from Distracted by Diamonds. When I finish that, I won't de-kit it. I'll just move right on to this one. And then I will complete all of my kits for the month. And then at the end of the month, before I kit up my first kit for the following month, I will de-kit everything I have. So... Right now, like before I started salt water, I took a day and anything that I had that needed to be broken down, I did that. And it kind of just, I don't know if it actually saves me time, but it's easier to bring my storage containers down, deal with it and get everything done and then start fresh. Um, I used to, when I first started diamond painting, I used to, kit up and kit down like I would have kit up salt water worked on it finished it kit down kit up my next piece worked on it finished it kit down that one um but now I don't know I used to love I used to love kitting down um it was one of my favorite things to do I loved organizing the drills I loved my spare drill storage I was just really happy with the process. I enjoyed it. Now, as I'm de-kitting, I sit there and think like I could be diamond painting. I could get so much diamond painting done right now, but instead I'm kitting down. Um, so yeah, do you enjoy kitting down? I used to, but at this point I'm like, I'd rather be diamond painting. <laughs> I do enjoy kitting up. Um, I still enjoy kitting up. It's just like the excitement of starting a new diamond painting and wow this this bag has a lot of static i don't usually have static with diamond art clubs oh the static in my current project yikes it's awful it's so bad look at this i never have static if you're new to diamond painting and you aren't sure what people mean when they talk about static if you can see these kind of sticking like that, sticking to the wall there. That is static. So do I have a dryer sheet handy? I do. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull a piece of dryer sheet here. I'll actually leave this over here. I didn't bother to bring it over because I never, excuse me, I never have static with Diamond Art Club drills. So I like to just kind of give it a shake and you can see that it's kind of helping already, but I won't be working on this kit right away. So I will leave them in there and hopefully by the time I get to this one, there won't be any static. All right, normally for me, static is, I, I experience a lot of static in pre-bagged drills, which is one of the reasons I hate working out of baggies. I know a lot of people do, um, but like I said, I enjoy kitting up, so um, that's probably part of the reason why I don't like baggies. I also just feel like containers are more pleasing for my brain, and they just look nicer. In my opinion, if you love containers, there are a lot of companies out there that are switching to only using containers. All right, so I'm going to move over to the next size up just because I'm out of the really small ones this bag would definitely fit in one of the small containers but that's okay if I can there we go um if you're curious I use washi tape on all of any style of container that I use I use washi tape just because it makes kitting down so much easier. It makes peeling the labels a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I do, I use washi tape anytime I kit up. All right, so let's pull another 
set of bags. We'll go with this one. There are really pretty colors in this kit. So, all right, 33.47, pretty green. Speaking of green, happy March, everyone. <laughs> the month of green. Um, I am, I have lofty goals for March. So as you know, I've said multiple times in this video, I am working on my kit for the mermaid along. No, mermaid along. Oh my God. I just combined multiple events in one name, the mermaids and magic event, which is being hosted by, uh, crafting with Shay and you can call me butter. I chose saltwater because it's one that I've been dying to work on ever since I purchased it. I tried for months to get that kit months and I just couldn't <laughs> I couldn't snag it um if you're unfamiliar with Distracted by Diamonds they're an Etsy shop and they're pretty hard to get your hands on a kit especially the really popular kits um they only stock a couple of times a day and they don't stock every day of the week so it's kind of hard to get the kits that you want and the Gretel Lusky pieces are definitely kits that are difficult to snag. So it took me months to get salt water. I actually got it this past summer. We were on vacation in Cape Cod and I was able to snag it on our first day there. And I was like, oh, this is a good sign. <laughs> this is a very good sign. It's going to be a good vacation because I've been dying to get this diamond painting for months. So... I have been really looking forward to working on it ever since then. Um, and then I will be doing this piece for the chuck along. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to like officially enter the chuck along or just kind of be a backseat participant. Um, I have participated in every chuck along. I think, did I participate in the first one? I may not have participated in the first one. I think I was, I don't think I was really into events at that time, um, but fun fact, my first completed Diamond Art Club was a Chuck Pinson. It was actually um, Reflections on reflections of Country Living was my first completed Diamond Art Club. So yes, I have this, and then I would like to complete one more kit for the month, and that kit is Undersea Dreaming. And obviously that would work for Mermaids and Magic, um, but I think you can only have one entry. So it'll kind of be like my second kit for Mermaids and Magic, but it will be my main kit for the Emerald Along. So if you guys know Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights, she is, I love her. She makes me laugh. Um, she's really nice. She, it seems, I mean, obviously I don't actually know her, but... Um, I don't know. She just gives off like a really nice vibe on her channel. Um, she's one of my favorite channels to watch. Um, I just feel like she's real. Like she kind of, she keeps it real, you know? Um, and she, so she's hosting the Emeralds along, obviously Emeralds, because her name is Emeralds and Fairy Lights. <laughs> um, so I will be doing Undersea Dreaming. And I also purchased a bunch of ABs from DP with Sparklers to jazz up her tail. So that would qualify me to enter the Sparklers Gone Wild event, which is being hosted by Tina or Tima. Um, I believe they're running that group in their Facebook. Uh, I believe they're running that event in their Facebook group, which I haven't been on Facebook in months. So I would have to... <laughs> I don't know do I want to open that can of worms <laughs> we'll see um so yeah I would like to complete three canvases this month I feel like I'm in pretty good shape uh, I know doing a Chuck Pinson is a risk but if you watched my unboxing which I'll leave that somewhere for you guys if you watched my unboxing, there's actually quite a bit of color blocking in this canvas, and it's around. So I'm hopeful. 
think I may be able to, to fit it in uh, without getting too overwhelmed. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so yeah, those are my plans for March. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with March. I feel like just March in general, not March in the DP world, but March in general, like, I feel like it's the beginning of spring, you know, it's exciting. Uh, we're, we're starting to dig out of snow and, uh, it's staying light darker in the day and all that fun stuff. But yeah, I don't know. March, it's just, there's like nothing to look forward to. Um, there's no days off with work. <laughs> it's like the only month that we don't get a day off. That's not true, but kind of. Um, I don't know. March just hits different for me. Um, also, my grandmother passed away in the month of March. Not to be like a Debbie Downer. Um, but my grandmother passed away on St. Patrick's Day. So that's kind of like a bummer. Um, I believe, gosh, I think this year is like 16 years since she passed away, which is insane. I was still in high school when she passed and yeah. Um, but she, <laughs> so we called her nanny. Um, she, I'm going to put a picture of her up on the screen just because like, I don't know. I feel like I need to share her with the world because she was just amazing. Uh, it's been, like I said, I'm pretty sure this year is 16 years and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. That's how like amazing she was. Um, I think about her all the time and she was one of those grandmas that <sighs> she was okay. So, like I said, she passed away on St. Patrick's Day. Now, if you knew my grandmother, she was one of those people that dressed up over the top for everything. So, like, for St. Patrick's Day, it would be green everything. Green shirt, green um, jewelry, green pins. Because she's, like, she was that generation where they actually wore, like, decorative pins on their shirts. Um... She was just, like, gaudy and over the top on a special occasion. So any kind of holiday. She just loved having something to celebrate. Um, you know, she would get all of her grandkids just something small, like a candy bar or something. Like, um, just because she liked having something to celebrate. So she would have to go around everybody's house and she would, you know, see all of her grandkids. And there's, like... 10 of us or something um so it's it's hard on St. Patrick's Day but at the same time it's like but Nanny would want us to be all decked out in green and um you know living it up so we try my sister and I try um to do that just because we know it's what she would want but it's also just it stinks, you know, it's sad. Um, it doesn't ever go away, you know. Um, but yeah, she was the best. Uh, she was super crafty. I feel like she's where I get my, my crafty vibes from. She loved to paint. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know if they, oh God, it's been so long, but we used to go to Michael's or Joanne's or wherever and you could you could purchase those little like porcelain figurines and we would paint them and um yeah I feel like she's where I get my love of crafting and movies she had an, a ginormous VHS collection um and I have a ginormous DVD collection so but yeah grandparents are the best so if you have your grandparents with you still you are a lucky duck, so make sure you say hi, because someday, 
they won't be around anymore and it'll be very sad. And my grandmother was very young. Um, she passed at 70. So even if you think like, um, if she was still alive, she'd only be like 85. It's really not that old. Um, in terms of, you know, some people live to be 95. Uh, my, my grandmother on my dad's side actually just turned 85. So it's kind of like sad that my other grandmother didn't make it to be, you know, she missed out on all of her, her grandkids having kids. And, uh, so anyway, basically March just kind of stinks in my family. Um, and if you have a grandparent, go give them a hug because I wish I could hug mine. <laughs> well, that particular grandmother, um, my other grandmother is still alive, um, but she lives out of state, so we don't get to see her very often. But anyway, I feel like this has kind of turned more into a whip and chat than like a kid up with me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a kitten chat a kid up in chat okay so I'm on to the big bags here so I'm gonna try to see what containers I can fit things into I don't think I'm gonna need any of these really big ones I don't think I'm gonna need those I do have two bags of 3371, but these aren't like super full, so I may be able to get away with using this size container. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna grab a few more of this size, because some of these will definitely fit in that. So what do you guys have going on in March? Um, what are you looking forward to? What events are you participating in? There were so many good events this month that I had such a hard time narrowing down. Obviously, as I say, I'm going to try to complete three kits. Um, but there were so many good events. Um, who's, I think, is it Knox that's hosting the Dark Vibes DP along? Um... I have had my eye on an Ennis Guerrero piece for quite a while, and I was tempted to purchase for that kit, but I ultimately decided not to. Um, I did. I narrowed it down to a few kits or to a few events, but there are a lot of great events in March, and I was excited because I didn't feel like I was picking kits specifically for the events like they're kits that I've been wanting to work on so if you've been hanging out around here for a little while you know that I was pretty determined this year to kind of scale back on the diamond painting events that I participated in because I felt like I was just overwhelming myself and I was forcing myself to do diamond paintings that I necessarily didn't want to do at that point in time um I try to, if, if I know there's an event that I want to participate in, I shop my stash for one. I don't, I don't think I've ever gone out and purchased a diamond painting just for an event. I may be wrong. Um, I've been diamond painting for over two years now, so I could be wrong, but just thinking about it, I really don't think I've been like, oh, I need to purchase this kit just for this event. Um, but last year I felt like I was so event focused that I wasn't getting diamond paintings done that I really wanted to get done. So Undersea Dreaming, which I had on my list to do this year anyway, no matter the event, um, that was one of my first diamond paintings. I'm pretty sure, or Diamond Art Club diamond paintings, I should say. I'm pretty sure that was the first Manny Manzano that I purchased. So it's been in my stash since I started buying from Diamond Art Club. Um, but I really, this year, I really wanted to focus on kits that I wanted to get done. Um, I'm not necessarily tied to the idea of like doing my oldest kits first. 
there are some older kits that I do really want to finish and I feel like they get overshadowed by new releases and when you have an Instagram like I do or you have a YouTube channel you're kind of at the mercy of what people are interested in so you know obviously a newer kit is going to get a little more engagement than an older one and I feel like while I was trying to grow my Instagram and obviously I'm still trying to grow them but I was so focused on making sure I was doing things that people would like as opposed to things that I want to do um are there new kits that I would love to work on yes I actually have a list in my phone of kits that I want to get to this year um Oh, this is going to be close. Um, and some of them are new releases, but there are also just older kits that I want to work on. So, one, two, three, four. And originally I was not going to participate in the Chuck Along, but... I haven't done a landscape in a while and landscapes are one of my favorite um, styles to work on. So when I saw this kit, um, I was like, I think I could squeeze that one in. Now I have a giant collection of Chuck Pinsons, so I did not purchase this kit specifically for the Chuck Along. Um, at the time that I purchased it, I was convinced I wasn't participating in the Chuck Along. So. I just don't want you to think that I'm negating what I just said. <laughs> um, I was honestly on the fence about this image for a long time. That's why it sat on my wish list. But I kept going back to it and looking at it. And it actually is really beautiful. And I think it's going to be really pretty in its completed state. I should have gone up a container size. But it's too late now gonna go with it Ooh, some of these really are very staticky I may have to go back through and put some dryer sheets in all right let's see if I can get this to close ah oh no do I need to just okay I think we can make that work. All right, let's see if I can squeeze into these two here as well. So yeah, um, exciting videos that should hopefully be coming to the channel sooner rather than later are my pen collection, um, which is going to take me a while to film. Also my diamond painting stash. So I've decided, I think, after kind of getting some feedback from you guys, um, I think what I'm going to do, because I have a very large Chuck Pinson collection and I have a very large Manny Manzano collection. So I think what I'm going to do is film those separately. So like film my Chuck Pinson collection and my Manny Manzano collection in two separate videos. That way I can pull the canvases out. Um, it seems like there are some people that are new to diamond painting that really like Chuck Pinson and would love to see the canvases. Um, so I'll be filming those two videos. It's finally, now that it's getting closer to spring, it's lighter out when I get home from work so I can kind of film more in the weekend instead of having to, or I can film more during the week instead of having to wait until the weekend when I can film in the morning. Um, so I'll have a little more time to film, which will be nice. So those videos will be coming and then I think I'm going to just do the rest of my stash. So I'll do my entire diamond painting stash minus those two particular artists. I think I'm going to do it that way unless I just do my diamond art club stash minus Chuck Pinson and Manny Manzano and then I film everything else in a separate video. I haven't quite figured out the logistics on that yet, but those videos will be coming. If there's any other kind of collection that you would like to see, please let me know. Like the, um, I don't know, my 
tray collection or my cover minder collection or whatever. Um, I am a collector, so I do have <laughs> a lot of things. I love to collect, um, and I think part of the fun of diamond painting is collecting all the fun, pretty things that go along with it. So uh, what I'm doing here is just trying to get these in order. One, three, four. Um, six, 44. some really beautiful colors in this some really pretty oranges um so yeah let me know um what other types of videos you would like to see on the channel I'm pretty open to anything really um I just love I don't know it's just fun to share I never thought I would really have a YouTube channel like I feel like it's something that a lot of people toy around with and like oh it'd be fun to do this um I never actually thought that I would do it. And, oh, I totally meant to open the, ch open the video with this, but I recently hit 500 subscribers, which like I'm talking about now, it's something that you don't think will happen. Um, so thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me that you enjoy the channel and that you subscribe. Um, I never thought I would have people that would actually enjoy watching my channel. It's just, it's it's really cool. So thank you. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much uh, for joining. It's, it's, you know, I don't have anybody in my real life that diamond paints. So it's cool to have like-minded people that get it um, and enjoy the same things that I enjoy. So... Yeah, I am being very slow and I apologize. I'm just trying to get these in order because I want to show you all the pretty colors. Okay, so those are the drills all organized for this project. The only other thing that I like to do is cut out this image. I will actually leave the sizing because I reference this when I make my Instagram post. Um, I like to post when I finish a row and then I like to put all the information on the kit in the description or whatever <laughs> whatever it's called so i will do cut this out and then i'll put it this way and then i just take a little bit of tape sometimes i'll use washi tape sometimes i use regular scotch tape and i'll just do that. And that also helps because I'm not going to be working on this kit right away, so I can just kind of sit this off to the side. I know what drills these are. And yeah, now I'm all ready for a ne my next uh, diamond painting. It's nice because if I finish um, my current project like early on on a work night, 
then I can open this kit up and I can start working on it right away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kitting up video. Um, it's not a video that I do very often, but I think it's something I want to start doing. I do enjoy watching kitting up videos, so why wouldn't I film one? <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed and it's Sunday. So I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. Not quite sure when I'm going to post this, but I hope you're having a great week or going to have a great week and I will see you all next time. Bye.